longtime friend of the show, Mr. Ali Abdelaziz, who joins us now via the magic of Skype. Ali, how are you? What's up, brother? How are you? I see your mouth, but I don't you see your late. face. Huh? Oh, oh, there you are. I see your mouth. Yeah. Okay, there you go. You're, you're scolding me for being late? You are late. I know. I'm sorry. Where are you? Are you at the Performance Institute right now? What happened? Yes. Look at you. You pretty much run the UFC at this point, I feel like. No, nah, man. I was just... Uh, we're going to start training here, help with Benil. Okay. Some weight and just get... You know, I work out here like a couple of days a week. Just Must be nice. Nice place. Must be nice. Um, before we get into things, Ali, I have to ask you, you're the only uh, guest on our show today who currently lives in Las Vegas. Um, and it's so, and so we're, as I said at the top, we're thinking about everyone who's there. Um, how, how are things with you? Um, everyone that, you know, all your loved ones, all your friends, anyone who was affected by last night's horrific shooting? Yeah, man, it's horrible. Uh, I'm okay. Actually, I was right next to the shooter when it happened. I was on my way to the airport pick up one of my fighters and I went to that and I hear something you know I was driving on a strip but I didn't know what it was and when I went to the airport they said his flight they sent it to Arizona and I guess they shut down the airport and it took me almost two hours to get home wow which fighter was this it was uh big a lot maybe okay 2500 right wow um and everyone that you know uh is safe and sound no one was affected Everyone is good, man. It's just these four people, you know, they didn't have to die. That it was just just horrible. Just people come to Las Vegas to have a good time and enjoy, and just uh, here you go, fifty people died, five hundred people injured, and it's just this world is a fucked up place we live in, I guess. Um, and what's the vibe like this morning in Vegas right now? To be honest, man, like everybody I'm at the institute, I walked in, like it's different. It's really different. Everybody's like. You know, very down, no yeah. energy. That, like when you walk to this place, everybody's laughing, joking. People not doing that today. People not doing that today. Um, and like I said, you you have five guys on the card, right? On on this Saturday's card. Yes, yes. UFC 216. I have to do five guys. Yeah. Um, do you have Do you have any idea if this will affect the card? I mean, we haven't heard much. Uh, you're there right now. Do you, Do you have any idea if anything will change as a result of this week because of what happened yesterday? Uh, I, I think, uh, as far as I know, everything is all right. Uh, just now, I know some fighters are supposed to fly in today. And yesterday, uh, they they, they sent him to Arizona. Uh, and uh, this guy's, you know, supposed to land way last night. I don't know. He have, he's not here yet, but he's in Arizona, stuck somewhere. Okay. But we'll see what happens. But the card will proceed as far as you know, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to proceed, but I'm, I'm very sure it's going to be extra security. And, right. No, it needs okay. to be. Um, there's a lot that I want to talk to you about, but the first thing I want to ask you about is, and this was the main question that I got when I said that you were going to be on the show, the interim lightweight title is being defended, or at least it's it's up for grabs, I should say. There is no interim lightweight champion. Um, it's Tony Ferguson versus Kevin Lee. We were supposed to get a fight for an interim lightweight title back in March. Tony Ferguson and Khabib Nurmagomedov, your client. Khabib has been relatively quiet since then he was on the show but that was a long time ago everyone wants to know what's the latest with him is there any update on his return Khabib right now is he training two times a day he's 133 he's 183 pounds uh he's you know he's ready for all this clown keep talking shit for the last four five six whatever how many months uh and they will have a problem on the hand when he come back because this is why he said you know I'm not going to say nothing. Everybody can say whatever about me. You know, he's undefeated for a reason. He's undefeated in the UFC for a reason. But now, you know, everybody get, uh, you know, if you think about it, before Tony Ferguson will fight Khabib, Tony Ferguson was irrelevant. He's fighting on the Fox Sports 1, you know. Uh, but every, when he was going to fight Khabib, he was going to, you know, uh, fight for a UFC title. Uh, but now, even he's fighting Kevin Lee. Kevin Lee gave him a push because he can he can he can headline by himself. He needs somebody because he's irrelevant, to be honest with you. I <laughs> my opinion. I think it's the A side here is Kevin Lee, is not Tony Ferguson. Really? You think Kevin Lee is the bigger star? Oh, hundred percent. I, I think Kevin Lee 
a guy talk to talk, walk to walk. Listen, Kevin Lee didn't, you know, didn't almost got knocked out by a, by a junior. You know, uh, you remember that. Like, you know, Tony Ferguson is a good fighter, but he doesn't have a persona. He doesn't have a charisma. He doesn't have the, you know, the Connor charisma. He doesn't have Kevin Lee have a great charisma. He doesn't have the Khabib charisma. He doesn't have the DC, you know, he doesn't have that. This is why I, I think he's a good fighter, but when it comes to marketability and and UFC pushing him, they're not trying to get behind this dude. Well, Sean Shelby, matchmaker for the lightweights, um, they put out a video where he said that he offered this fight to Khabib and Khabib turned it down. That's why they went to Kevin Lee. Is that true? Did they offer this fight to Khabib? And if so, why did he turn it down? Listen, Sean, you know, Sean, in a way, he, he's, you know, he's, he's, this is what happened exactly. For everybody to be clear, uh, actually, uh, Sean reached out to me um, about fighting Tony Ferguson, fight Khabib in Master Square Garden. Uh, you know, I, I was good with it. And I think Khabib and Dan have a conversation without me and Sean. And very much Khabib asked Dana, hey, can I make this December 2nd? Because people doesn't know this, and this is probably for the first time people are going to know, Khabib have a back surgery, a full-blown operation on his back, you know? Wow. And everybody said, Habib this, Habib this, but people doesn't know, but the guy doesn't, he doesn't have to disclose his life story with everybody, and I don't think a lot of athletes do, because this is their private life, and they deserve to be private about it. They have a full-blown operation in Germany, uh, he went to Germany, have an operation. The UFC is aware of it. And listen, UFC have a business. They need to put on fights. Uh, and, and Khabib asked Dana, you know, can I, uh, can I fight uh, December 2nd? And him and Dana went back and forth. And Khabib said, okay. And Khabib called me. And he said, if I can fight December 2nd, I can find uh, November, uh, November 4th. Anyway, I went back to them. But at the time... They was trying to make Frankie Edgar versus Max Holloway October 7th, but they couldn't. And this is now the, this is how this whole thing played out. And if Frankie Edgar would have fought Max Holloway, the main event, Khabib would have fought Tony Ferguson and, uh, and, and, and uh, 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 Tony Ferguson in the Madison Square Garden. Uh. To be fair, fair to Sean, yes, Khabib did said, I need more time. But he come back and said, oh, I will. But the UFC have a problem on their hand. They need the main event. And, you know, and they use Kevin Lee versus uh, Tony Ferguson. Okay. You know? and, and I, you know, Sean is right. You know, Khabib, he wanted to fight December 2nd. In a way, he said he wanted to fight December 2nd, not November 4th. He backed up and said, okay, I will do it. I will rush back. But at the end of the day, it was too late. The UFC, like I said, they have a business. They need to run. And uh, yeah, Sean made the right statement for sure. Um, when did Habib have back surgery? Man, I I, uh, I don't remember off my hand. I think um, I believe July. Okay. You know, I can't be a little bit, but I believe July was in Germany. And and when can he return? Habib, he's training. He's healthy. You know, we waiting for some of these dudes to win. Probably the winner, we try to make it happen for December 30th. This is the plan. Okay. Yeah. So not Connor. Not The winner won't fight Connor. You think they'll fight Khabib first? Bro, listen, listen, listen. listen. <laughs> Connor making a statement. His yeah. coach is making a statement. You know, for goddamn sure, Connor is not fighting Tony Ferguson. He's not fighting Khabib. This is fact. You know, he's not fighting these guys. The, the statement that Connor just made. This is, he's the same, he used the same tactic the UFC did for years. That he very much, you know, in the UFC, it worked for them. He's shaking the Nate yet. You understand? <laughs> he's shaking Nate. He's making Nate nervous, but I don't think Nate is going to get nothing. And you're smiling, you know I'm right. He's very much shaking Nate. You know, you hear all this report, Connor said, I'm going to go to Russia and fight Khabib. And there's a reason why Dana White, pound for pound, the best promoter in any sport. Because the motherfucker, he's just, when it comes to this, he's God. Like, he promotes. Like, he, he's the Mike Tyson of promotion, you know? And when he say that, he make Connor start go up. Oh, wow. He want to go to Russia and fight this guy. 
He used to fight bear. You know, he fought in lions and stuff. But at the end of the day, Connor is very, very smart business. And you have a good team behind him. Mm -hmm. Why the And the UFC is very smart. Why the hell this guy bring you millions and millions of dollars? We'll, ha we'll have him go fight. Someone like Khabib is going to take his ass down for five rounds and beat his ass. And, you know, he, he would just, every punch is like a punching machine. Every time he punch him, the, the money go down. The money go down, like the video game. And after that, when Connor finished with him, it's going to be no, mon no more money left for, <laughs> for anybody to grab. It would be a stupid decision for Connor or the UFC or his team to even thinking about fight Khabib. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's make no sense. If I'm the promoter, I'm going to keep Connor way the fuck away from Khabib. Not even close to him. I wouldn't even mention his name. All right. You know, uh, but you, you already seen the excuses. Oh, he can make way, blah, blah, blah. Listen to me. I'm going to predict this on your show. Okay. I will see Connor fighting Justin Gaethje before fighting Ferguson or any of this or Khabib. And there's it's a reason behind that. He Why? will fight Justin Gaethje before that. What's the reason? Bro, because Justin Gaethje, Justin Gaethje is going to stand up with him. Yeah. He's yeah. not going to try to take him down. He's not going to take him to his weakness because, you know, uh, Connor is jiu jitsu, is, is, he's amateur. He's jiu jitsu, is amateur. He's a, great, he's a great striker, but he's, he's a white belt on the ground. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, you know he's, he has no, no jiu jitsu. You know, maybe he has some, but not compared to Khabib or Ferguson, these guys. Like, he, you know, he's a world champion. You got to respect him, but he's a world champion by knocking people out, not by submitting people. Every time you see him went to the ground, he tapped to somebody. And it's okay. Because he's a great striker and he's winning with it, you gotta give him respect. But this dude, he's too smart, man. I would see Arson fighting Khabib before Ar Connor do. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, throwing all kinds of you shade know? Connor's way. Okay, so let me ask you about it's this. True though. But... Okay, okay, go yeah. ahead, go ahead, please. You wanted to say something? It's 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 real. Hey, a lot of people probably fucking send the messages now. Oh, get these tires off your show and uh, they go back to your country. But hey, you like it or not, this is the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't think Kevin Lee will get a title, uh, a title O'Connor either. Even you know, if he wins? I, I think Nate Diaz will get Okay. Even if he wins. Because Kevin Lee, I believe, can take Connor down and beat his ass too. You know? I think, honestly, if, if they smart, Connor have more chance to verse Tony Ferguson and, um, and, and, uh, than, Khabib, uh, than Kevin Lee and Khabib. Because Tony Ferguson, he's, he's not... He's, He's just stupid enough to trade with people. Like you see him with uh, he fought the junior. What's his name? The guy he fought. He make him dance like chicken. What's his name? Uh, Tony Ferguson. Venata. Oh, Lando Venata. Yeah, he fought somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he uh, Lando. Yeah, Lando. My man Lando. He make him dance like like yeah. chicken. But he's you know Kevin Lee's too smart. He's not gonna stand with him. Okay, so let's 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 address the, the the Tony Ferguson uh, situation because you and him have been going back and forth for quite some time on Twitter. I mean, it's just constant. You and him back and forth. What what is the issue here? When did it start? And why is there so much bad blood be, bad blood between you and Tony Ferguson? Bro, I'm saying something. I have no bad blood with this dude. Come on. Actually, I I do. He even I mentioned you. He mentioned you when he was going, and we're going to get to the Verdum thing in a second. But he even brought you up in the midst of all of that. Let me say, listen to me. I'm four years old. I have four <laughs> children. You know, I have, I have, I, you know, all I'm trying to do, just do my business, and 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 my, I take care of my guys. My guys with me, they with me, and I'm with them. To, to wrong, right? I'm gonna be with them, supporting them 100. percent Tory Ferguson is a loser. I'm gonna tell you why this guy is a loser. I'm gonna tell you the story behind that. Okay. When he was fighting Khabib, he was talking a lot of stuff back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I wasn't involved in any of that. Anyway, it was on Wednesday before the fight. It was doing media stuff. And a whole bunch of Russian guys saw him, him and his trainer, I believe. Uh, or maybe him. I don't remember. And they surrounded him in a circle. And they was making jokes. And me and Khabib was standing far. And they surrounded him. But they were there playing with him. You know, they, they, you know? And this dude was there for like three minutes or two minutes. Couldn't get out of the circle. They surrounded him. You know, it, and I was like dying. You know, and after that, I think uh, he's been saying a lot of stuff. And you know, listen, he, he's a, he, you know, he yeah, it's good. It's good when Tony Brooks and talking stuff like that. But the guy is an idiot. And the reason he started talking shit to me because Khabib very much ignored him 
and he wanted to get somebody to answer back, and that's why he started talking to me. Because realistically, I'm Khabib's manager. I'm not fighting Tony Ferguson. You understand? But the guy have beef with everybody. He have beef with Kevin Lee. He have beef with Cody Garbrandt. Now he have beef with Verdun. You understand? But let's be real. The guy walked by me. It was me and Cody Garbrandt. Was after the last UFC in Vegas. Walked by me. I didn't say nothing to him. And he blew me a kiss. And Cody's like, dude, he blown it to me. And I was like, no, it's you. And be honest with you, where I come from, we don't do that. A man doesn't try to kiss other men. This is like, and I went off on him. And after that, he didn't say shit, you know. But at the end of the day, like, I'm, I'm 40 years old. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to start a problem with nobody. But if somebody going to start a problem with me, I have to say something back. Because if I go home, I can't sleep. I'm, you know, and the whole thing is, just to let you know, Tony Ferguson is a fan of Khabib. One fucking hundred percent. Last time before they fought, they saw him. They saw Khabib in the back and asked him, hey, champ, how's everything? How's your injury coming along? Can I have a picture? And he took a picture with him. You understand? And the reason Tony Ferguson redid his deal, because Tony Ferguson should be kissing my ass. I'm going to tell you why. When he was acting up, Dana and this guy just fed up with him. They offer us Say, screw, fuck Tony Ferguson. Let's fight Jose Aldo. And I was like, no. You remember that, right? Yeah, I do. Guess what? If it was not me, Khabib would have been whooping on Jose Aldo. But we wanted to fight Ferguson because he's the number one guy or the number two guy. You know, now Ferguson, that means he owe me. He owe me for negotiating his deal. Because if I say fight Jose Aldo, his ass would make him 40 and 40, fighting on five pads somewhere. But... We stood, we hold our ground to the UFC, and you can ask anybody about this. It was uh, Jose Aldo was offered. Jose Aldo yeah, was not lying when he said that. Yeah. Correct. But we said we're going to give my man Ferguson. Uh, uh, and now he told the media, oh, I'm here. You're not going to like me. You're not shit. You, you, you're not even a world champion acting like this. You think everybody's going to be cool with you? Bro, I'm going to tell you something. The UFC can't stand him. The media can't stand him. He blocked your ass on Twitter. I know that. I know, you know? but now he unblocked uh, me. It's great news. He unblocked me recently. Uh, he, bro, he's a witch wash. He's a fucking, he's a baby. He, honestly, bro, I, I don't think this guy is a very smart guy, man. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, some, honestly, I have no beef with him. But oh, man. If you, I don't, I don't, because at the end, I can fight with you now. One day later, I'm good. I don't hold grudges. Because if I hold grudges, I'm going to start hating every motherfucker in the sport because everybody talks shit. But we can fight today. Tomorrow, we're good. I don't so, care so, about that. But Yeah. Well, they're they're at they're at the they're at the 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 media lunch on Thursday, and he's talking, and then he gets mad at Verdum, and then there's a back and forth. Verdum is one of your guys, and he has since apologized for saying uh, some homophobic slurs. Were you disappointed in Verdum in that whole incident? Let me explain to you about this. Actually, Verdum and uh, and Tony Ferguson always been cool, and I didn't know that. Okay, they always been cool, like shake hand stuff like that. When Verdum went there and he tried to shake his hand, he gave him like an elbow and even look in his face. Huh. That's how this thing started. Okay. But you know, and I know earlier when you on the media lunch, yeah, you get answered, you get questioned by 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 media, and Fabrizio's get answered by Spanish to other media, and at the same time, Tony Ferguson was getting asked questions, and Fabrizio was answering, he was answering. And the motherfucker has the audacity to tell the ADCT champ, the world champ, the former UFC champ, put his hand in front of his face. A, you interrupt me. And in a way, honestly, I'm so proud of Verdum not to fold his ass and beat his ass. And the reason he didn't do that, because probably he don't want to use the UFC main event. And he respects Chris Castello. That's what he told me. But if on the normal, normal day, Fabrizio would have beat his ass. And the whole thing is, he tried to play it off. He acts off. Oh, I, I'm going to uh, ankle pick you or single leg you. And oh, you want to pick on a lightweight? I weigh 155 pounds. Bitch, if you think you were lightweight and you can't hold your own, why even talking shit to a guy? He didn't do nothing. And let me tell you about this homophobic thing. You know? Personally, I, I, I said something before. And I didn't even know, listen, we, 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 we live here. I speak very good English. You understand? But every, I'm not making an excuse for nobody. I know a lot of Spanish people. 
and I know a lot of Brazilian people, and they call me this this M word. I don't know. If, uh, can I say the word, or will we told if I say it? Can I say it? the M word in Spanish? Yeah, you could say. Like I, I guess mar maricon. I don't want to uh, insult anybody. You know, maricon. I know a lot of. They call me that, but in a way, and and Brazilian guys, if you go to Enzo Gracie Academy, people say viado. That means if you Google translate this, it means. The F word. I'm not gonna say that. Okay. But it's really like bitch. You know, it's 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 100. And even I I I I, I you know somebody worked the UFC higher up. He also you know, it, but in a way, if you translate it in the society you live in, at least insult is insulting other people. 100. I don't think anybody should be discriminated against about his gender, race. And this is something I suffer from every fucking day. My kids will suffer from, you know. It doesn't matter if you, if you, your race, your gender, your 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 sexual choice. This is your business, you know. As far as I know, God only judges people. Nobody should be judging other people. You understand? But I can guarantee you this: Fabrizio is the most unbiased, and racist, and homophobic. And I know he said that before on social media, like Marie Cohen, that he. he he say that, but in a way, I mean, like bitch or, or something like that, like or or or, or a, like it's like it's like I'm telling you something. The way he said it, he said it before on DC is, is Instagram, and people make right. big deal out of it too. You understand? And he got all this clown ass reporter. Some of them on your side, straight up. I'm gonna call them clown. This no. is clickbait. You understand? Well, no. Because they know. Bro, I'm Why? being honest with you. I'm listen. I, I'm here. I'm you know. Yeah, but I got to defend my guys. There's aside. nothing click. There's no. There's no yeah, clickbait listen, there. Words the are words. Is, but the dino, hey, hey, even a fucking MMA junkie too. Everybody's gonna get it for me this week. When I see him, we will talk. But at the end of the day, we will talk because this is this is how we respect each other. We talk like me and yeah. you. We go at it a lot. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, I respect you. I think you're the best in the game for a reason. Because you don't kiss nobody's ass, and you always. Fucking, sometimes I feel like you want to fight me when I'm talking to you. Know, I'm like, damn, fuck <laughs> I will beat the you. The Arabic and Jewish <laughs> coming out. But the, the man meant no harm. I personally, you know what? I said something before, and I apologize about it because, like I said, if you, if nobody should be judged with that. And after that, they try to link into other stuff and this and this. Well, let me and ask you this, Ali. This, this response is much more passionate than Fabricio's response. Fabricio had like a two-word thing on Twitter and then that was it. Why are you so adamant on defending him and passion? I know he's your guy, but it seems like he has used this word before and doesn't recognize that it could be offensive to other people. Why not just stop using it? To be honest with you, he yeah. feels the same way. He's actually sad. People, you know, he's like, he's like, I have gay friends. I have gay friends. Like, He's like, I, I know the guy. I know more than anybody. Previously, he was a huh. fucking jokester. But he have heart of gold, man. Listen. Yeah. I, I like, I, he, you will hear from him. You guys will hear from him okay. probably this week. Yeah. You understand? But yeah. at the end of the day, too, let me stop for one second. Okay. Tony Ferguson used the same exactly word. And nobody said shit about it. That's why all this motherfucker media, if you're going to judge one person, Mm. He said Maricon too. He called Fabrizio Maricon too. Why everybody talked about Fer Huh? In an exchange, yes. Okay. But okay. he still said it. Okay. He still said it. Why I don't see everybody writing about it. Guess what? One wrong doesn't make two uh, two wrong sure, doesn't sure. make right. Sure, sure. If, you know, if you're gonna try to fry Bardum, what about this motherfucker saying? He said the same thing too. You know? And he's let's guess what? He lives in America all his life. He understands it. But the whole thing is Guess what? You know, if you want to be fair, just be fair. But at the end of the day, I said, the word, I agree, should not be used publicly. Is is uh, it, Now, I think Fabrizio have a clear understanding. Yeah. You know, but I'm telling you something. A lot of people call me that. A lot of Brazilians call me that. But I don't, I think, offend to it. But now, if somebody call me that, I personally am not going to think offend to it. But I'm not going to like it. But I know... What's the meaning behind it? But at the end of the day, I want to apologize to everybody out there worldwide. I will apologize because I use this word. I'm admitting I used this word before for because nobody 
to be like you know like like discriminated against you know okay. if, if your gender your race your color i think it's a horrible but what happens I tell you something fabrizio yeah. he meant no harm to nobody i'm telling you man the guy is the most unbiased unracial to any race to any gender and, and and i'm not trying to make it excuse for him but i really mean this from bottom of my heart what happens when if you see tony this weekend this week in Vegas, you're surely going to cross paths. Brother, the guy, is a, the, the, the guy is a joke. Tony Ferguson the fuck is a joke. The guy, he, he wear a $5 sunglasses, you know what I'm saying? Some cheap-ass suit. You know, he make enough money to, to look like decent. And he, you know, the whole, you want to you wanna see somebody? You want to know the true color? Give him some power. Give him some juice. You, under, you know, now he said, oh, you're not going to like me. You're not going to. Nobody gives a fuck about you, dude. You understand? You know, he'll have to live by example, man. Like the guy, it's it's a, he's he's a joke, man. He's a clown. He he's undercover. He want to be like Conor McGregor. He he say he doesn't. But everybody want to be Conor. But it's all right. But the guy, he wants to be the crazy guy. You don't see his eyes. The mysterious guy. Get the fuck out of here. The <laughs> fucking joke. He's a fucking. He's a he's a clown. If I see him, I'm not gonna say nothing to him. But. I, I'm gonna respect the UFC enough to, not to say something to him, but if he says something to me, of course I'm gonna respond back to him. I know okay. got a whole bunch of Russian motherfuckers here too. They don't like all the shit he's talk about Khabib, you know. But everybody's cool, man. Everybody's cool. He's fighting for a world title. He should be focusing on Kevin Lee. I'm rooting for him for Kevin Lee to win, but okay. Khabib is rooting for him to win. I'm rooting for Kevin Lee. Yeah, but Khabib said I want Tony Ferguson to win so that he can fight him. Yeah, he's bro. Listen, all this motherfuckers talking shit about Khabib. You know what's so funny? Yeah. Khabib even fought, even fought in November, and Connor's mentioned Khabib's name. Kevin yeah. mentioned Khabib's name. Tony mentioned Khabib's name. You know why? Because the motherfucker is relevant. You know what I'm saying? You know, Ferg, Kevin Lee is a very smart kid. I respect Kevin Lee, and even I have a conversation with him. He just wants he 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 wants to promote himself. But I'm telling you. Connor even talking about them, but they all want to fight Khabib because they know they're not fighting Connor. You understand? They talking about Termasu this, Termasu that. Yes. Go ahead. Let, let me ask you, Frankie Edgar, is he fighting Max Holloway in Detroit? Bro, well, that's the that's that's the plan, but you know, I gotta see some contract about agreements and stuff. But you know, we, we got guys fighting main events at the end of the year. You know, we 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 taking over this business. You've got a ton. I mean, you've got you've got Cody coming up. You've got Derek Brunson main eventing. You even have Ray Borg. Is Ray Borg gonna make weight? Is 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 he gonna do it? Is he gonna actually fight on Saturday? He he will make weight. He will he will make weight. I think it was it was a uh, you know listen the kid you know he have he have strikes before, and when he got sick people kind of blame it on the weight. But uh, he will make weight. He's gonna come here probably at one thirty one today, one thirty two okay. max, and he will make weight. I'll, I'll uh, you know and a lot of people all the time. And Khabib didn't make weight. They, they blame me for it. Listen, I'm the manager. I do train with my guys, but at the end of the day, if guys got sick, they got sick. You know? But it's it's all right, man. It's, it's going to be a great year. But uh, Tony Ferguson, straight I up. Feel, I, you can see <laughs> uh, I feel I, I feel like I, I have know, like... The guy, honestly, the guy's a joke. Yeah. Huh? I have like 50 other questions. You have so many fighters. How many fighters do you have in the UFC right now? Close to... Uh, 50 or 45, something like that. Unbelievable. Do you have any news you could break for us? Anything big? Give us something before we go to your next. Our next guest is one Henry of your. I just signed Henry Sahudo. He's fighting. Wow. I just signed Henry Sahudo. He's just five credit. Congratulations. Um, you know, I, I got Ray Borg fought for the title. Frankie fighting for the title. What's going on with your Khabib old friends at World fight Series of Fighting? PFL. Are they going to get a TV deal? What's going on? What could you tell us? I don't fight, bro. Honestly, man. You're not affiliated. I'm about World Series of Fighting. Yeah. Of course I'm not, but it's, 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 I have faith in one man up there, Ray Suffer. He's my brother. I love That's him. That's your today. guy. And he's my guy. Allah is my, uh, this man is honorable. He's honest. You know, sometimes he can confuse the fuck out of you, but whatever he tell me, I'm going to always stick behind him and I'm going to respect him and support him. I think these guys have good intentions, um, you know, but at the end of the day too, they have almost a hundred fighters. They need to fight. It's, it got four or five shows canceled last year. This tournament's gonna happen. A lot of people say this tournament's not gonna they happen. They need a TV deal. You, Don't they need a TV deal? Happen. They need a TV deal. They're not an NBC, no, listen, right? 
these guys, I'm going I'm to tell you something. These guys have a whole bunch of billionaires and buys, invested money, okay? okay? This billionaire didn't become a billionaire because they're stupid. I'm sure this guy is going to try to get on the internet or something. And, and let's see what happens, you know? At the end of the day, we need work. We need uh, uh, work sure. as a fighting. More the better. BFL. We need these guys because if we don't have them, where is all this fucking fighter going to go? You know? But I think this tournament is going to happen. I don't know when, but it will happen. Because if it's not, it's not going to happen. They're going to be out of business. And I know this, all these guys, uh, they, they're very smart guys. They bought the company, and they have, they have the funds. Two questions I cannot answer. When is the storm is going to happen, and how long is it going to last? It's going to be up to them to make it successful. Last one, you know? last one. Rumble Johnson, is he going to fight again? Bro, Rumble Johnson, we plan on him fight. You have to make sense for him. You know, I, me and him been talking. He's he will come back as a heavyweight. Oh wow! We want him to come back as a heavyweight. Okay. Yeah, we will come That's... back as a heavyweight. When? You know, and listen, but it's, it's the, he has six months for Usada thing. You know, this we meet in this with the UFC this week. Uh, you see what he want to do. Uh, you know, Dana White. Dana White really love Anthony Johnson. How okay. you cannot love Anthony Johnson? He's terrifying. You know, but we will see what happens. All right, we've covered a lot of ground. That's some good news there. That's some big news. I appreciate that, Ali. Uh, stay safe out there in Las Vegas. Uh, way to ruffle some feathers with Tony Ferguson. <laughs> and, I want to uh, ask a question. What's your yes. prediction? Tony Ferguson, what's your prediction? Tony oh, I don't Ferguson make predictions. I don't make predictions. Are you kidding me? Come on, why do you always do that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get blocked if I if I pick against a guy. He's going to get all upset. I don't need that kind of trouble. Come uh, if on. I was you now, if, yeah. if they save your face for your Jewish people... Black, block the motherfucker. You block him back. He block you. <laughs> yeah. No, you block <laughs> No, I can't do that. Yeah, you got to have some pride. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you, Ali. Appreciate it. We'll see you All out right. there. There he is. Ali Abdelaziz, one of the top managers in the game, spitting some fire. 